Hello gorgeous souls, it's Mary Rose from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tarot reading for the week ahead. Now I'm not going to say the date because it doesn't matter. That is how spirit guides work. Even if you are viewing this long after I've uploaded the reading, the message is meant for you. And if how it works is like something that jumps out at you, that is what spirit is trying to tell you. And that is how the law of attraction works. Okay. And also revisit this reading, this video, because you will notice that something else will resonate with you in, in the future. So visit back. Okay. So today I'm working with the everyday witch tarot. They're so cute. I, I just felt, I saw them on Instagram um, a while ago and they were just so adorable. They were talking to me, but you know, like it's just, amazing how um, all cards they're all related to the Rider weight and that I can read basically any anything it's um, any tarot deck or Oracle deck it's just the messages they come from here not necessarily uh, from the cards the cards are just uh, tools that help entice the intuition and bring um, energies and feelings and I also read the aura so that's how I do my reading so um, I have my cards here before I begin, I always say a little prayer and um, I'm going to say one right now. Calling on to a higher power, calling on to God, Jesus, the angels, guides, please give us a message for our highest good, for what we all need to know here and today. Okay. Okay, just give them a quick shuffle. Okay, I think they're shuffled enough. Cutting them in three piles. There we go. Okay, here we go. First card. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. And Three of Cups. Interesting. Okay. So we have here the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, I always see it as hoarding your energy, not opening up closed. If you can see the card, um, he's standing on a box. He's living in a box, basically. There's a window behind him. And the window, he's like, he can go outside and do something with his life. He's basically um, hoarding himself. He's hoarding his energy. He's He's very miserly with himself and also with his uh, with his money as well and everything else and money is energy and it's a sacred thing and he's holding on to it. He basically, he's keeping everything to himself. That's what the card, uh, the Four of Pentacles represents. It represents miserliness, but how we can relate this to in our daily life, it doesn't mean that you're miser. It means, or I'm miser, it just represents um, that we're holding back on something like, it seems like that you're, you're closed in for some reason and sometimes you can't help it. And it relates to um, a sense of the past and something that is holding you back from moving forward. You've been about a fear. It's actually a fear card because afraid to take the next step, afraid to do uh, something else in your life. And, and also with relating to love and relationships, just feeling afraid to ask someone out or initiate um, the connection to go further to the next level just afraid to just emerge ahead like that is really what it is it's a fear card but rest assured because you can get out of that that is just what where the energy is taking us remember this whole reading is like a weather report so remember you have the ability it's free will to change um, the future so that is where we're going and that is what's happening right now so we may we have been feeling a bit uh, stagnant and uh, kind of like hibernation you know um, just keeping back staying back okay and the second card is the ten of swords and if you can see the ten of swords here okay and the ten of swords is holding on to stories from the past hurt and pain it, it looks very gruesome and I think we've gotten this card in the past and yeah it, it looks more worse than really what it is because she's got ten swords on her back so it means like that she feels like there's no way for her to get out she's you, obviously she cannot get out of her situation obviously she cannot leave she feels very trapped she feels like she's she's held back big time so she's making up all these um stories or the situation has presented itself to be hurtful like there's things that are going on in her life 
that has created a lot of trauma and a lot of pain and ruin in the past but that's not that's the past see this is all the past it's over with like this is actually telling you it's over with and it doesn't matter what you have endured because it's over with it's gone you know it's just now it's just a memory and it's just stories and it's important to let them go to acknowledge the first step is to acknowledge them and to admit them because what happens sometimes i have to say when it comes to hurt now this can relate to everything that is going on in your life like i'm not just specifically saying this is for love and this is for business this is for health this is for personal i'm talking about in general okay so whatever it relates to you in your situation because there's a lot of people that are watching this right now so it relates to something that has happened in your past that was very hurtful and now you are moving forward but you're afraid to move forward so that story keeps coming around it's almost like a sabotaging like the only thing that's stopping you from moving forward is yourself it's sabotaging thoughts and those sabotaging thoughts is preventing you from moving forward now when i say health what i mean by that is because that's for me anyways it, it relates this reading is for everybody remember that and, and, and like for me that's what I'm feeling because it relates to something that I'm going through personally. Um, say for instance, what someone is trying to lose a few couple of pounds for the spring, right? Summer. But you're having those sabotaging thoughts that are saying, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. And oh, just forget it. I'm getting too old. And those are the words, those are the things that stop you from moving forward. It's the negative patterns and watch what happens. Watch the negative patterns. They repeat themselves and they keep going on like a broken record. And I know I repeat myself sometimes a little too much because it is a broken record. And that's basically what I'm talking about. It's like the same thing over and over. So I'm just trying to get through to say message from spirit is saying that you need to put those, um, those stories down. You need to look at them in the eye and face them, face the truth okay and say i am not going to let these stories and these thoughts and this negative everything that happened in the past to stop me from moving forward today i uh, it's you are feeling maybe that you feel a lot of pain today you feel a lot of um anguish or so whatever it may be but it's in the back of your mind maybe not completely but you're just feeling like just like it's never going to change when is my life ever going to get better it will get better and you know it's just you have to move forward and let go of that okay so it's just telling you that you can change remember that you can change those those thoughts okay and so the next card is the seven of wands the seven of wands is taking a stand taking a stand and taking on your life and saying you know this this really relates perfect to what what's going on right now with the four of pentacles and the ten of swords because you got to take a stand for yourself you got to take Take the initiative role and face everything that is in front of you. Face the fear, um, look at the thoughts, feel them as they come up. Know that they are not your spirit, your soul. Remember that. Okay, see, we are in a body, okay, our soul. We are a soul. First of all, we start off with spirit. Our soul is like our hard drive and it, it incarnates in different lifetimes and lessons and everything that you have gone through in your life your soul carries on all those uh, imprints you can say and all those talents and all the lessons that you have within yourself right and so we come into this world um you know so and what we are here we sometimes have those memory thoughts sometimes a lot of it can come from past life right it can come from something that is relating to a past life that you go, i don't know why i have this fear uh i have this phobia i have this a lot of those things happen right it's some things from fears from past lives have brought into this past life uh, from sorry have brought into this lifetime and now you are dealing with whatever it is and even if it's from this lifetime you're you're facing the trauma as well like it's in this and it's fresh memory so you have to take a stand take a hold of your life and know that you are not this is not who you truly are these are just things that have happened and they don't control you you control your own destiny you have more control than you really understand how much you do you are in power you are in control and I I'm a firm believer that if we set ourselves up for something like to say oh well it's I hope that that happens and I hope that everything happens really well and I hope when you use the word hope you're actually affirming that you know it's not going to happen instead what i'd like you to say is i know it's going to happen i know it, it is happening as we speak it's all divine timing you know you have to 
realize and you have to know now when it comes to love those are the things that is difficult to predict okay when i say predict is like we can plan ahead of how long it'll take us to get to one destination to the next you know but when it comes to love waiting for our soulmate to get it together waiting for someone to pop the question or looking for love it you cannot make it happen it has you cannot change the will of another person you remember that but what you can do is you can clear the pathway and when you clear the pathway you allow the love to come towards you you know if you're chasing someone and this person is running from you and it's you're thinking i know that this person loves me because i believe we all well it's true we all are intuitive and you know if someone loves you you wouldn't be after them and you wouldn't be in love with them and you wouldn't feel what you feel so you got to trust that love that you feel but at the same time if you find that you've been chasing somebody or when i say chasing it's just waiting for that person waiting for that person to call uh, trying to get that person to love you well maybe the person does love you but they have issues maybe that is the case or oh, there's a lot of factors maybe the person's not ready or maybe you love somebody but they are with another and they have to go through their own lessons at that moment or maybe perhaps you're looking for somebody but you haven't found that person but you know that they exist and you're doing all the right things you think you know but you're not actually because by by waiting and wishing and hoping like that hoping that those words hope you're actually pushing those things away what you need to do is get yourself out there and find a place where you feel like you're drawn to you know if you feel like you're being drawn to a certain direction then you got to take it and you got to go with it even if it tells you that you have to you need to go to a place that you haven't been to and i'm just feeling like you know just say i'm well, i'm just feeling this energy like i i need to go to this uh this 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 town or something or i have to go and visit this um this I, I'm just giving you examples that are coming into my mind. I'm not saying for you to do that. This coffee shop, you never know because you might just bump into that person and maybe that person will be the one or maybe they'll introduce you to the one, okay? Just to give you an example with my situation, I'm with my soulmate, you've all met Dave. <laughs> I knew Dave uh, way before we got together because I just, we weren't ready at the time. I didn't even have any feelings for him. So it was just not ready, you know? So it's like, and then when we finally got to the terms of who we really are in each other, where like a magical portal just opened up and we were like, oh, a veil just uplifted. We saw each other, really, you know? So what we had to go through, what we had to go through, mind you, my guides and everything and everybody that anything that i was doing readings on were telling me that this person is going to enter my life and it's going to be magical and i was like yeah really and the same thing with him but it was like i wasn't looking for it i was not looking for it and so that's what you need to do you need to just be pro proactive in loving yourself because it all starts from here and as soon as you've put the energy into loving yourself you find that you will find the love that you're looking for or that person will open up to you just things will happen okay and the last card is the three of cups and the three of cups is a celebration three people getting together and celebrating their life and that is what you are a man to do right now is to celebrate life life is a celebration life is a gift and we are all here for a reason and you got to take it while it's here okay life we always say life is too short yeah life goes time goes by really quick so you got to get out there and enjoy your life stop putting on this is what i get a strong message stop putting on the masks to try to impress other people so stop doing what you think that you're supposed to be doing. Like say for instance, in the past, perhaps maybe you put it on the mask and going out with people that you really don't enjoy being with, people, acquaintances, friends, um, that you don't have anything in common with anymore. Um, you don't feel comfortable going out to the bar having beer and chicken wings anymore It's like you don't have that. That's not in your life anymore Like stop doing those things that you think you're supposed to do to impress some people Because just because you want to fit in you don't want to fit in It's like you are a, a unique individual live your life live your path if you live your path the way you are meant to be, way you want to be, what is what makes your heart sink, you will attract the right person. So that is why love will not find you because you're trying so hard to be something 
that you're not anymore or you ch we change or you're looking at your old life and you are dwelling on the negativity that has been in the past and the stories of being a victim you got to get out of the victimhood the more you stay being a victim the more you're going to attract reasons to be a victim and guess what you're going to be a dog chasing its tail you're going to be on the hamster's wheel it's going to be over and over and over and you're going to life is going to pass you by stop saying i'm too old to find love or she'll never love me he'll never love me because i'm too old or i like stop saying things like that stop saying negative things i mean those those, those do not exist okay those words do not exist and you know what you need now one of the things that i like to do is to raise my vibrations and love yourself that is the key and one of the things I love to do is I love to hold on to crystals. And so I love to work with clear quartz because this amplifies my energy and makes me feel so full of love and it helps me to tap into my truth. Okay. And another way I love to amplify my energy is to work with oils. I, you know, I'm a, I love doTERRA oils and um, one that I'm working with right now and it's in my diffuser is um, passion. I love, love passion. Passion is a really good oil because it raises the vibration and it makes you tap into your own passion into your fire That's what we need. We need more fire. We need more love. We need more Sun yeah, and so it helps you to get in touch with your inner fire within yourself not to be over aggressive but it helps you to tap into your own fire of love and uh you know it just raises that energy and makes you feel creative and makes you feel vibrant who wouldn't want to feel vibrant and creative okay uh send me an email um, if you're interested in finding where you can get doTERRA's passion because it's a blend by doTERRA and um, i hope that this reading was helpful for you if you have any comments or any questions please post them below and if you're looking for a longer in-depth reading with me, please visit my website, psychicsoulmatereading.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wanna say thank you. I've reached so many subscribers today and I have to say to a big thank you. And I love you guys so much for subscribing, for watching, for supporting me, and for sending me your beautiful emails and um, feedback. I, I can't tell you how much it means to me because, you know, it's a scary thing when you put yourself out there. I'm just like you. I'm just a normal person, you know, out here just to give a message. But my guides, my spirit guides have told me to do this. And so that's why I'm doing this. I'm a very shy person and uh, introverted, I should say. But my guides told me to to do these videos and so that is it for today until the next video peace and blessings to you